It's day 47. We're going to build a version of Top Trumps where you get to store information about anything you want and battle those things to the death. Well, not, not quite to the death in Top Trumps. It's more comparing stats, but yeah. So here's your challenge. And before I start, don't forget that we do have a bunch of places for you to go and get help whilst you're doing this, because at this point, these challenges really are quite difficult. So don't be afraid to go and get help from those different venues. But your challenge is this. We're going to recreate top trumps. You're going to pick a category of thing. Now, common things for this are characters in TV shows or films or objects, oftentimes things like trucks or cars or planes. I'd like you to be able to store the information of two different objects in a 2D dictionary. You should be storing the name of that as the key field. And then within that, the sub dictionary should involve some stats about the object. In my example here, I'm using famous characters from fiction, and you'll see that the stats I'm using are for intelligence, speed, guile, and boldness level. Those numbers should be hard coded in. The game will work like this. We have an infinite loop where the user picks a card and picks a stat and we tell them whether they've won or the other card has. As simple as that. It needs to compare those stat numbers together and display the name of whoever's won. You can, of course, extend this to be a bit more dynamic if you've got the time to add your own cards or to play this game on a loop in a two-player format and keep score. But for the very simple project to get this 2D dictionary idea into your head, all we want to do is pick the winner. If you need help, you can go to ask.replit.com, click 100 days of code, and find this project where other people have already asked for help, or you can ask for some fresh help if your problem hasn't been covered. You can ask for help in the Discord in the 100 days of code channel, or you can get involved in Replit 101 and Code Helpline, which I host every two weeks, where we take your coding problems and try and solve them live on YouTube. Once you're done, please share with us in the community by publishing it and using the hashtag replit 100 days of code when you share it on social media. Tomorrow, I'll be fixing probably your biggest problem so far. And that is the fact that every time you've been writing a program, you've had to type every piece of data in every time you click that run button. Tomorrow, we're going to be saving things to a file permanently.